In this Amazon tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to return an unreturnable item on Amazon. So I'm going to show you an example here of an item that I want to return. It's a food product or a supplement product. Uh, it just, you know, my reason for wanting to return it is it's basically intolerable in this case. And so what I'm going to need to do is kind of go through chat and be able to speak with the representative and kind of discuss that I'd like a refund for the product, I want to return it, et cetera. And so to do that, I left a couple shortcut links in the description down below. One is to your orders. So your order history will have the product that you want to go click that return button on. The other one is a straight shot, one click uh, shortcut to Amazon chat. And so you can go straight to Amazon chat and start talking about which product you want to return that might not be returnable. Now the, you know, I've had some success with this when it's been a product that I found out after the 30-day window that it's actually defective. And so you might get a refund for that as well. As long as you just are honest and open with the Amazon uh, chat and you don't try to abuse the system very often, you should be able to get a refund. So let's see if I'm able to get a refund on this tutorial. Um, so if you're just going to navigate there, you don't have to use the affiliate links in the description if you don't want to. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go to your orders first. And so you click the little person icon and then you should be able to see orders. And uh, I'm going to click on orders here to find all my orders so I can kind of navigate down and find the product that I want to return. So in that case, it's this one right here. And so I can click into that. And then what, uh, in this area, you should see as we scroll down, you should see um, a return button on this product. If you don't, there should be something else about getting help with the product. And if there's not, then you can just click that chat link in the description or go to customer service in the Amazon app uh, to get help and then eventually specify that this is the product you want to return. Otherwise, we just scroll down a little bit and you should see a section here that says need help with your item and then return items. So I'm gonna click on return items and this is where you'll see that this item isn't eligible for return. But you should see something about requiring further assistance. I'm gonna click contact us and it'll slowly get us through to the window we want to go to. Uh, I'm gonna say that either I can't return this item, I have a different issue, one of those two will work. I'm going to click I cannot return this item and kind of see where that takes us. Um, you know, from here, you can pretty much always find a I need more help button. So I'm going to click I need more help. Inside of here, we get this chat window. And so I'm going to click start chatting now. And that is basically the, I'm going to go ahead and start a new chat as well. I'm not going to continue any previous chat. Uh, but that is the link that's in the description to go to chat will take you right to here. And so you'll be able to get help right away. Now it's going to start off with a bot or like an AI chat assistant, but eventually we'll get a real person and that's who you're going to need to talk to to get this return. And so basically I'm going to say return or replace item. It's probably going to tell me it's unreturnable. And then, you know, it's going to ask me for more details, right? So in this case, the product was kind of intolerable in, in taste. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and go through this chat section and we'll recap it at the end and I'll let you know uh, what the result was and how we got there. Actually, that was really quick. So this is probably the easiest re uh, unreturnable return I've ever had. Uh, right away, the bot actually said, I'm sorry that the, the product didn't meet your expectations. And you know, it's, it is eligible apparently for a returnless refund, which is usually what it is. If it's a product that cannot be returned, uh, eventually you'll just get kind of a refund for it and you can dispose of the product if it's expired. I've had that happen. If it's been used or opened or damaged, anything like that, you can get a refund for it. In this case, um, it didn't meet expectations and we're able to get a refund. So I'm going to say original payment method. Um, I've had more luck going back to the original payment method than going to Amazon gift card. You know, the Amazon gift card one is going to show up quicker maybe, but when I'm in the customer service chat, Generally, original payment method has had a higher success rate for me as far as actually getting the dollars that I was promised. And so I usually go back to that card, whatever the payment method was. This may um, be dependent on what payment method you used, uh, but let's see here. So, yeah, I should expect to see this uh, return or not return, but refund in the next few business days. And then that's it.
Now, let me tell you, okay, story time. I didn't expect this uh, unreturnable return to be so easy. So most of the time, what you have to do is go through this customer service chat. It will tell you you cannot return this product. And so you keep saying, I need more help. Eventually, it says that, um, you know, there's nothing more that I can do as a as a bot, right? But what you can do is contact customer service. Do you want to chat with an associate right now? To skip ahead, you can probably just say, like, I want to chat with an associate, but you could always try what I did because I got that return or the refund really quickly. So um, once you chat with an associate, somebody will be connected with you, and that's who you're going to talk to as, you know, a human that you can basically explain your situation. And so you can talk about how, you know, whatever it is with the product. I've had products that have been damaged. They've come damaged. I've had things come that have been expired. You know, I've had things come that have been opened before. All kinds of stuff. There's so many different situations. In this case, it was, and, and actually one other case, it was literally that the product tasted so bad, like we we couldn't tolerate it. Um, and, and, you know, I just, I, I don't want to keep it, right? I'm not going to use it. Um, I want to return it, even if it's technically uh, not returnable according to the return policy. And so once you go through those steps with that service agent, it's possible too that you they may even not have the ability to give you the refund and they have to transfer you to someone else. Like usually this stuff lasts like 10, 20 minutes when you're chatting with them and eventually you can get a resolution if you are sort of steadfast enough and patient enough with the process. Uh, but generally I've had good luck, you know, not doing this too often. But when I feel like it's fair, asking for a refund for a product that is non returnable. And that is pretty much how you do it, you go to chat, you know, if you don't go there from your actual order, then the AI bot might ask you um, what product you want to be talking about, or what you know, what you're concerned with. And then if they don't, eventually, when you get to the associate, they'll probably ask you again, or maybe for the first time, which product this is referring to, what's the order number, anything like that. So any of those details are good to have. And then they'll be able to see on your account what you're talking about. Um, You know, I know that you can't return super often, as far as um, you know, returning everything you buy, if you do this a lot, I'm sure your account might be flagged, etc. Like eventually, these kind of things won't necessarily work. But if you do have a non-returnable item, especially if it's like a food product or something, don't fret. Just talk to Amazon customer service and you can get a resolution and a refund. That is how you can return a returnless product on Amazon.